So unless Dick and Hall relents, we won't be able to offer her the position. You think what goes around comes around? That lady is gonna destroy the life of our church. Mark my word. His dog has terminal cancer. Well, I don't need your sympathy. And I sure don't need you telling me what I ought to know about God. She came all the way to our house to pray for your dog, Dad. If Reverend Jenkins decides to pastor again, I'm going wherever she is. God healed Huckleberry. Reverend Jenkins, we would like to kindly invite you to be the pastor of Bible Little Church. And I kindly accept. Say what? Let's bring our churches together. Hit me! Hit me! What's going on? What's going on? Hello, laddie. How are you? Well, what you gonna do? Come in. Hey, I'm back. Thought you might need a little help. I told you that woman lives to torment me. Did you see the clown? I did, and I'm, I'm sorry to laugh, but <laughs> you just don't know how silly you sound. Now, Angel, wait in the car while I go talk to Reverend Jenkins. Oh, no worries, dear. I'll be here. In six months, if the two of you are still here, let's see how silly you sound then. Ah, you have nothing to worry about. I would not miss this wild ride for anything. Angel. Oh, no worries, dear. Yes, it's a glorious day. The birdies are singing. I'll be here. I will. Well, fasten your seatbelt. Because she's on her way in. The ride is about to begin. Pastor Lynn. Pastor? Where is she? Well, she's pounding on the front door. We heard her. Well, what do I do? Do not open that door. What do I do? Let her in. If I open that door, I will not see my first paycheck. Really? See? Well, good afternoon. What'd you give her time to get out the back door? Goodness, no. Don't be silly. <sighs> um, are you by yourself? More or less. Where's Reverend Jenkins? Well, her office is this way. She's not... <laughs> She's not using that old gone to the restroom ploy, is she? You want me to come down there uh, with you? No. A little help here, please, Pastor McKnight. Pastor Lynn, is this going to be part of my job description? Absolutely not. <sighs> Next time I'm going to hide in the men's room. She's never looked there before. <laughs> All right, 
Oh, I'm too old for this. <sighs> Reverend Jenkins, how are you? It's so good to see you again. Knock off the small talk, Mabel. I saw the clown. Please tell me you two were on your way to a birthday party and just decide to stop in here and say hi to Have you no charity for these lost souls? Charity. Charity. Nope, put it on the collection plate. It's gone, been spent. Listen, I think she meant compassion and love. I know what she meant. Look, all I know is one minute I'm home, basking in the wonder of my golden years. And the next minute, I got a pastor, a deacon that hates me, and Bozo the Clown. A clown, Mabel, a clown. Have you no milk of human kindness for me? <laughs> that look never means anything good. I'm sorry, Pastor, but Deacon Hall just drove up. Somebody just go ahead and shoot me. You know what, listen, let me take care of this. I'll see what I can do, okay? All right. You know what, I'm coming with you. Mabel, you could drive a godly woman to drink. Oh, well, you know, I can help with that. I've got a little something here. I'm kidding, Mabel. Oh. Just, you make me <clears throat> crazy. Well, okay, okay. <clears throat> Reverend Jenkins, I wouldn't be here if I weren't at the end of my rope. On any day, my clients run a desperation level between eight to 10 on a 10 point scale. And then sometimes I get a 15. Which is where I've always come in. Lynn, we've done all we can do. You've always been able to help in these situations. You're a miracle worker. But Mabel, here's the thing. Yes, we're the church called to help, called to good works. But if we don't have a proper placement for the folks you send us, we can do more harm than good. Seems to me that'd be a violation of, what, placement 101? I get your point. But the, the next place from here is the streets. I don't think that'll do no harm. Let me come at this from a different direction. I've been pastor for less than a month. We're just beginning our honeymoon. Haven't even really smooched. And yet, here you are. With a clown. Well, I aim to please. Okay, wait a minute. Who is Deacon Hall? Okay, are you a comic book fan? Well, Deacon Hall is the arch nemesis. Wow. But anyway, how'd your meeting go? Well, I think my congregation is joining yours, and I think I may be your new assistant pastor. You think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, short version. Deacon Hall didn't want this pastor, and he definitely does not want the status quo of this church disrupted, period. Okay, so we're sunk? Let's just say the less he knows, the better. Oh, glory to God. I hear you loud and clear, Lord. I'll be on my way. Oh, I feel your presence, Lord. Oh, praise you, Lord. You've given me another assignment. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Deacon Hall. Let me introduce Pastor McKnight. Good afternoon, Pastor McKnight. Good afternoon, sir. What brings you to our fine church? Well, I've come to congratulate Pastor Lynn on her new pastor. <laughs> Wasn't that nice of him, Deacon Hall? Absolutely. <laughs> um, let's go to the fellowship hall. Well, first I want to go to the pastor's office. Um, I could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Good, she's got a pot in her office. Uh, but there's pie and coffee in the fellowship hall. Oh, pie sounds good. You know what? I haven't had any lunch today. Uh, well, l let me let her know I'm here first. Okay, but wait, she's actually in a meeting. Female talk. Let's go to the fashion hall. Oh, all right, okay.
Gentlemen, let me get the coffee and the pie while you two get acquainted. Okay. So, Deacon Hall. Yes, sir. Isn't that the social services worker's car? How did that woman find her so quickly? Father in heaven, maybe Lena is too old for all this. Oh, me darling, I believe someone's trapped in the back door there. Can you help me get them out? Is someone really trapped? Oh, love, I heard voices and they sound a wee bit panicked and the door is jammed shut. All right, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, dear. Go ask the door. Hello? It's Maddie, Pastor Lynn's friend. May I come in? Are you alone? More or less. Okay, get in here quick. I'm almost afraid to ask, what's up with the clown? Ooh, hi, that sounds lovely. And what a fine looking group of people we have here. And who's this strapping young lad? Oh, look at those, look at those cheeks. Oh dear. Reverend Jenkins is behind this, isn't she? Oh, laddie, don't get your shorts in a bunch. It's a bit uncomfortable. I'm Angel from God the Almighty. I belong here. And besides, I'm a bug catcher. Can I catch any bugs from you? I'm fresh out. Oh, thank you, laddie. It's a nice big chunky one. I'll keep it oh, for God, later. Me. No, I can't wait till Pastor Lynn sees this. Really? Are you thinking that's helping? I tell you what I'm thinking. Murder. That's what I'm thinking. Deacon, Deacon, listen, it's obvious the lights are on, but nobody's home. I'm not talking about this clown. I'm talking about the pastor. You know what? Let me take you to Pastor Lynn. She's going to love to meet you. Yes, yes, dear. I do have a message for her. <laughs> oh, my. This type of stuff never happens at my church. Spend much time around Lynn, and you'll see it all the time. <laughs> it's like the Lord says, I need a laugh today. Let me find Lynn, Lynn Jenkins and see if I can mess with her. <laughs> well, he found her today, and he is really messing with her. Isn't it great? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, I think she may need some reinforcement. <laughs> oh, there you are, me lassies. Angel, I told you to stay in the car. Oh. When the Lord beckons, child, I must obey. Trust and obey, always trust and obey. Angel, this is Reverend Jenkins. Oh, lassie, don't be silly. I already know. And the Lord wants you to know that he loves you. You're the apple of his eye. But he needs you to understand something, dearie. That you can't help people if you're sitting at home reading and writing. Do you understand me, lassie? This is a word from the Lord to you. How would she know that? Do you think she's an angel unaware? Maybe at the very least, a foolish thing to confound the wise? Reverend Jenkins, you are not going to turn this church into a circus. I was here a long time before you were, and I... Oh, bloody be boy, there you go again, getting your shorts all rumpled up. Will you never learn to trust the Lord? Look, somebody better muzzle this clown and send them back to the circus, or I'm calling the police. I only go with the Lord commands. I... I am a servant of the Almighty God, and He has sent me to this place. Can't you see she's flipped her wig? Ooh, the dog here. Poor oh, laddie. The Lord wants you to know that He spared your wee pet. 
because you loved him. He showed you mercy. And now he wants to teach you how to love people and how to receive love from them. These things you've never known. Oh, oh, me bug is all alone. I must find another. <gasps> That's all it takes. Just a blast of the horn. Exactly where is Angel supposed to live? Oh, she has a room in our transitional house. What's she need us for then? Well, she needs to be around normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you think you're going to find any of those people around here? And that's how you're going to be helping me from now on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Couldn't resist. Oh, and I can't resist you, laddie. I know you've got good bugs. <laughs> this place is an insane asylum, and the inmates are running the place. So, Reverend Jenkins, is this how you expect to grow our church? <laughs> So as I was saying, she needs to be around normal people. So I was thinking she could attend your services and she could um, come to some of your fellowship gatherings. Our services? Mm -hmm. So you expect Looney Tune to start clowning around during service and then the pastor to grab some kind of horn and give it a blast? But you know what, Deacon? The Bible does say that the Lord shall return at the sound of a trumpet. Maybe that's why she's here. Okay. Great. Am I the only sane person in this place? Where's the clown? <gasps> oh my Great. God. Now the clown's on the loose. Father God, I thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ooh, thank you, Mary. Well, Mama Scott, you want to start us off? I would if I knew where to begin. I was not here yesterday, but I heard what happened. Wish I'd been here. I've been a member of this church all of my life, and we've never had excitement like this. Well, you should be really upset with all these shenanigans. Well, I'm not. Pastor Lynn, would you care to tell us what happened? Well, how about if I start with something we can all be excited about? Remember Alice, Jeannie's daughter? Yeah. yeah. Well, she came by yesterday, we talked, and she accepted the Lord. Hallelujah! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. She wants to make this her church home. Amen. That's good. That's good. Another soul for the kingdom of God and our first new member in a mighty long time. Amen. 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 Lamar. Yeah. When's the last time you led someone to the Lord? Baby, that's the new pastor's job. What? Where'd you learn that? Deacon school? Pastor Lynn, continue. Okay. We all knew I'd change a few things around here, but honest, what happened next was not in my playbook. So tell us what happened then. After I shared with Alice, the pastor of Hillview Baptist came by to see me. He wants to join his church with our church because he wants to go back to seminary. Oh, wow. really? Isn't that Great. something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. And he offered to become my assistant pastor. Hey. Hey. He's a fine, outstanding, black, African-American man of God, I might add. Lamar, honestly, Deacon Hall. Well, you gotta be kidding. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a line of secession in place, just in case things don't work out with Reverend Jenkins. You know you make me crazy. Me too, sometimes. Anyway, he wants to bring his whole congregation here this Sunday. I wonder great. what. Great. That's great. <laughs> uh, moving on. What about this clown? <laughs> you know, Deacon Hall, you're going to have to excuse me because I believe I have some very personal business to take care of back in the ladies' room. 
And I think I'm gonna be a while. What? Wait, this meeting is not over. You are coming back, right? Maybe, maybe not. What? You know, did it again. All All the time. You know, it just dawned on me that I should probably remind you where I learned this little trick. And I'm sort of thinking what's good for the gander is good for the goose. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she got you again, Dee. Remember, you reap what you sow. Yes. Oh, please. I'll believe you are. Well, this meeting is over. Mm -hmm. Finished. Good morning, Pastor Lynn. Good morning, and call me Lynn. Well, how about you call me Derek? I'd love that, Derek. Your people getting seated? No. <laughs> what they do, change their mind? Not at all. They just know how people are about their special seat in the church, so they are letting your people get seated first. It's ridiculous to even have to think about such a thing, but you know, they're really being considerate. I appreciate that. Mm. It's a small number of them but you're gonna love them. All of them? You don't have a single Deacon Hall? Mm, you know what? I see your Deacon Hall and I'll raise you one. Beatrice Winpeg, self-proclaimed sister of the church. A real piece of work, I tell you. <laughs> oh dear. You know, I only got one thing to say. Happy days are here again. <laughs> you ready? Let's do it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. What we're about to see this morning will bless the heart of God. Yes. Two small congregations coming together as one in order to accomplish so much more for the kingdom. So church, please stand and welcome your brothers and sisters in Christ. Hillview, let's enter our new home. I think you sort of forgot to tell me a few details at our last meeting. <sighs> Look at it this way, as the sin of omission. <laughs> I'll repent later. Do you have anybody black in this room? You know, I was thinking the same thing. You got any white folks? Well, we were working on it. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. Enough of this handshaking stuff. Come on, y'all, I want to see some real Jesus-filled snuggle bunny hugging going on. We're family, come on. to tell you. You remember I told you I would raise you one? Introducing Mrs. Winpeg. She loves to be fashionably late and noticed. Pastor.
Really? Mm -hmm. Welcome to my world. What a wonderful hat you have. Oh, plenty of places to hide books. Well, I never.